Geometry 262, Volume for a Pentagonal Prism. Think triangles and think trig, and you'll be able to solve this, okay? For those you don't, who don't know, an apothem of a regular polygon is any line segment drawn from the center point of a regular polygon perpendicular to one of its sides, okay? Not a vertex, to a side. If it was drawn to a vertex, it wouldn't be able to be perpendicular, would it? It would be like 45 degrees instead of 90. So remember that it's a side. They're all congruent to each other. Doesn't that make sense? This one is equal to that one is equal to that one is equal. See, they're all equal to each other. So that's going to help us too. So the formula to find the volume is volume equals base times height. A pentagonal prism has five lateral sides and two bases. It's got five sides going around and a base on top and a base on the bottom. To find the volume, we need to break it into five different triangle prisms and add them together. So if you know how to do a triangle prism, you should be able to figure out how to do this one. The only thing is we need to get some measurements, so we need a little trig. So the formula for the volume of a triangular prism is the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height divided by 2. So the first thing we've got to do is find the central point and make a triangle by drawing line segments from the central point to each of the vertex to find the area of the base. A pentagon is 360 degrees around and it'll give us the angle measure inside of here. Uh, it's 360 degrees around. It's got five sides so we divide 360 by 5 and we get 72 degrees. So each one of these angles inside of here are 72 degrees. All right. We bisect that angle with an apothem to make two 36 degree angles. All right, so we had the 72 degree angle, all right, like this, and we bisect it. Here's the 72 degree angle. We bisected it with the apothem, and now we have a 36 and a 36. So, thinking trig wise, we now have an acute angle and an opposite. Hmm, we're just looking for the adjacent, okay? So, Using one of those angles, one of those 36 degree angles, we have a right triangle with an acute angle of 36 degrees and an opposite side of 3. We need to find the height of the apothem measure. So, tangent 36 is opposite over adjacent, right? So we need to put the 3 over the B. When we rewrite the equation, we get b is equal to 3 over tangent 36. Now, if you don't have a scientific calculator, you go to a trig table online or in the back of your book, and you look under the tangent column for 36 degrees, and you'll get that decimal point, 0.7265. If you have a calculator, input 3, then the division sign, then tangent button, and then put in 36, you'll get this, and when you round it off, it'll round off to the 4.13, all right? You do your math, and we get that our apothem, our adjacent side, is 4.13, all right? Now that we've got that, you know how to find the volume of a, tr of a triangle or a rectangle, right? It's length times width. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the 4.13 times the 3. Now, if it were a rectangle, we would be happy. But because it's a triangle, we have this overwhelming desire to cut this in half, don't we? But we don't want to. We don't want to cut the 12.39 in half because we already did. Here's the 36 degree, here's the 36 degree. By keeping it as a whole, 12.39, we have this entire triangle. See? Imagine that it was upside down here, put together like this instead of on this side. So we want to keep it whole as 12.39. Alright, so now using the triangular prism volume formula that volume is equal to the length times width times height divided by 2 we get that it is 4.13 times 6 times 10 okay because each one of these are 6 and our height is 10 okay we do our math 4.13 times 6 is 24.78 now we need to multiply that by 10 that's easy we just move a decimal space over right so now we've got 247.8. Using this formula, we need to divide that in half, don't we? 
247.8 divided by 2 comes out to 123.9. That is the volume of one of these triangles. Now we need to multiply it by 5. Remember we split it into 5 triangles? So the volume of one of these is 123.9. We need the rest of them. So we're going to multiply this number by 5 and get 619.5. All right, so the volume of our pentagonal prism is 619.5 cubic units. If the units are centimeters, then it's 619.5 cubic centimeters because we're filling the volume with little cubes. It's cubic. It's cubed. So remember, breaking a polygon into triangles helps. You don't necessarily have to have a scientific calculator. You just have to look up a trig table. So, I know this is a lot to take in, and what it is is, it's not that it's hard to do, it's just long. So it's, some, it's almost something like you're doing something that's not really that difficult, it's just very long to do, but you can do it. It can be done. You can also use this for hexagons and octagons. Think of the innumerable things you could find volume for with this idea. I'll see you next video. Keep up the good work and keep plugging. Bye.